more updates from the fourth day of filing of certificates of candidacy at the Commission on Elections. <laughs> Senatorial hopeful Amy Marcos is greeted by chance of never again to martial law as she arrives at Comelec to file her certificate of candidacy. The people chanting are supporters of Liberal Party Senatorial Bet and human rights lawyer Chel Jokno. Aimi is the eldest child of the late dictator Ferdinand. I have no clue, sorry. I think it's Aimi Solution because I always have an answer now. Jingoy Estrada also files his COC for senator, accompanied by his father, former president, and Manila Mayor Joseph Estrada. Jingoy denies his father's presence, means the elder Estrada does not support his half-brother, Senator J.V. Hercito, who is also running for senator. Wala naman ganun. Uh, because I requested man my father, my parents, my father and my mother to accompany me here. Siguro, hindi ko alam, baka hindi siguro tinawagan ni Senator J.V. si yung aming ama. Meantime, former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile is running for senator in the 2019 elections. Enrile files his certificate of candidacy through his lawyer, Joseph Sagandoy, around 3 p.m. Sagandoy did not face the media. Follow Rappler for updates. Human rights lawyer Chel Jokno and former Quezon representative Erin Tanyada filed their candidacies for senator. If they both win, there would once again be a Jokno and a Tanyada in the Philippine Senate. Jokno is the son of former Senator Jose Jokno, while Tanyada is the grandson of former Senator Lorenzo Tanyada. The older Jokno and Tanyada serve in the upper chamber at the same time. Jokno and Tanyada will carry the brand of politics of their father and grandfather who were staunch critics of martial law. Tanyada says the high prices of goods is a burden to the people. So ito yung magpapakita na hindi, hindi pinapakinggan ang daing ng ating mga mamamayan. Jokno is a constitutional law expert whose petition to declare the war on drugs as unconstitutional is still pending before the Supreme Court. He says he would push for a higher budget in the judiciary. Wala pa pong 2% na napupunta sa ating kutikatura. People are spending less and less time on Facebook. A study from Pivotal Research Group cited by Fast Company shows average time a person spends on Facebook was down by 6.7%. The research also says consumption of Facebook and its platforms, Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp, is down. It accounts for 14.3% of consumption in August 2018, compared with 169 in August 2017 and 185 in August 2016. While it's not clear what caused the decline, the timing suggests it has to do with trust issues after the highly controversial Cambridge Analytica data scandal. Fast Company suggests politics fatigue may be a significant factor. Despite the downturn in consumption, Facebook-owned Instagram experienced a 16.5 growth in user numbers and a 43% increase in time spent on its platform. <music> President Donald Trump scores a legal victory against porn star Stormy Daniels when her defamation suit is rejected by a U.S. federal judge. The suit is based on Trump's claim on Twitter that Daniels had invented threats to silence him. He said it's a sketch years later about a non-existent man and called it a total con job. The judge says the court agrees with Mr. Trump's argument because the tweet in question constitutes rhetorical hyperbole normally associated with politics and that is protected by the First Amendment. The president's former longtime lawyer Michael Cohen pleaded guilty in August to campaign finance violations in the form of hush payments to two women. He said he paid the women who alleged they had affairs with Trump at his client's request. Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, still has a separate lawsuit against the president linked to the hush money. British royals Prince Harry and wife Meghan received baby gifts, met a koala couple, and posed in front of Sydney's dazzling Opera House Tuesday, October 16. It's their first public outing since announcing they are to become parents. The Kensington Palace announcement said they were expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Megan wears a white dress by Australian designer Karen G. Shortly after the appearance, 
G's website was down due to the volume of traffic it was receiving. The British royal's trip to Australia comes in the heels of another royal wedding. This time, that of the youngest daughter of Prince Andrew of York and Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, last October 12. Princess Eugenie married wine merchant Jack Brooksbank, a commoner. She is ninth in line of succession to the British throne. Prince George and Princess Charlotte were page boy and bridesmaid. Mm-hmm.